All right, here we go with assignment 6.2. Again, it's probably worthwhile to remind ourselves what these various uh, letters indicate. So N right here, N, N uh, represents the number of payments. So a lot of times they're going to give you something in years, like this is going to happen in, in 25 years, like for instance, in this situation, this is occurring every 25 years, but it's happening every month. So what you need to understand is that there is 12 months for every year. So if it's 25 years, the number of payments is going to be 12 times 25. Okay, so that is what the letter N is, is the number of payments or withdrawals, something like that, whatever, however many times you go to that bank and deposit or withdraw anything. That's what the letter N is. I is your interest percentage, and it is straight up the number. You don't have to make any adjustments, All right? So this would be, for instance, 6%. It'd just be straight up the number six is whatever the interest rate is. Okay, and PV is the present value. That is like what it is right, right now. Okay, that's what it is right, right now. How much money you have. Payment is, uh, your, again, just payment. PMT is payment. How much are you adding to or taking away from the, the, your investment. Future value is a, a FV, it's future value. And so a, what it will be okay, in the future. And then the PY and CY is in essence how often it compounds. And so it would be 12 monthly, quarterly, something like that. All right. So let's figure out this one. Okay, after retiring, you want to be able to withdraw uh, $1,500 each month. So I'm going to be taking away $1,500 each month for 25 years. So month for 25 years is the number of times that I'm going to be doing this. Your account earns 6% compounded monthly. How much do you need your in, in your account? So how much do I need to begin with to be able to take away $1,500? And then I'm, exu I'm assuming that I'm going to exhaust my account. So I can do this for 25 years, but I'll end up with $0. Okay, so how much do I need to begin with? So we go to our calculator, we go to that TVM, um, we go to compound interest, and so our N is 12 times 25, and an interest rate is 6%. I don't know what PV is, I'll skip over that. My payments are 1,500. Future value is going to be $0, and this is occurring 12 times a year. And I am solving for PV, PV is F3 on the calculator, F3, PV is F3. So the present value, again, don't really worry about the negative numbers and things like that. This is two, three, two, eight, one, zero, and 30 cents. All right. So that is that. Number two, after retiring, you want to be able to withdraw $20,000 each year. So I'm taking away $20,000, that's my payment to myself, each year for 15 years. So that's one time a year for 15 years. Well, in the previous problem, it was monthly. So that would be 12 times for 25 years. This is I'm just doing it one time every year. Your account earns 7% compounded annually how much do you need your in, in the account? So what does it need to begin with to end up with zero dollars when all said and done? So I 
exit, go back to my number, which is 115, 70, uh, 7%. Don't know that. Uh, payments of $20,000, ending up with $0. And I'm doing this one time a year. Compounded annually. And I am solving for the present value. So that means I need 182, 158, and 28 cents. Okay, how much money will I need at retirement to be able to withdraw $60,000 a year for 20 years and in an account that earns 8% compounded annually? So how much do I need to begin with to end up with $0? Sorry about that little glitch in the matrix there. Um, let me let me just kind of walk through again. Yeah, so my N is 20, my interest rate is 8%, jump down, my payments are 60,000, future value is zero, and my this is happening annually, so the PYCY are each one. And I am solving for the present value. So I that means I need to begin with. In this situation, I need to begin with uh, five hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. And eighty-four cents. All right, pressing on. Uh, you want to withdraw thirty thousand dollars. Uh, each year for 25 years, your account earns 8% compounded annually. Um, how much do you need in the beginning to end up with $0 at the end? Again, same song and dance here. Zero one one present value. All right. Uh, next question How much mo total money will you pull out of the account? Well, that's pretty simple. I'm taking out $30,000 one time a year for 25 years. So I'm taking out a grand total of $750,000. But notice how it only took me $320,000 Excuse me, I'm pulling out uh, $750,000, but I only needed $320,000 for that $750,000. So how much of that is interest? Well, if I take out this much, but it only cost me this much, that implies Uh four two nine seven five six and seventy one cents was interest. I got that money for free. So I started off with three hundred twenty thousand dollars, but I turned it into seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for literally doing nothing. So that that was interest, all that difference. All right.
got it. Here we go. <clears throat> you want to be able to withdraw $35,000 each year for 20 years, 6% interest compounded annually. First question, how much do you need in the account? All right, so here we go. One times 20, six, skip over that. Take out $35,000 every year. Future value is zero, 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 one, one. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, present value is going to be $401,000. That, okay, so how much total money did you pull out of the account? Well, I pulled out 35000 one time a year for 20 years. So I pulled out $700,000. How much of that was interest? So I have seven hundred thousand dollars, but it only cost me four hundred one thousand dollars to get there. And I need to talk about two. So that that is the amount that would be interest earned. All right, pressing on. You have $500,000 saved in for retirement. So we have $500,000 right, right now. Your account earns 6% compounded monthly. How much are you able to pull out each month if you want to be able to take away uh, withdrawals for 20 years? All right, so I'm going to end up with $0 and... Um, I am taking it out 12 times a year for 20 years. So every month, I, I want to talk about N here real quick. All right, so I'm withdrawing money, question mark number of dollars, 12 times. So I, I want how much am I able to pull out each month? So there's 12 months for 20 years. Okay, so that is the number of times that I'm taking money out of my account. 12 times a year for 20 years. All right, so we're solving for PMT in this situation. All right, here we go. So 12 times 20, six, $500,000. I'll skip over that just for a second zero at 12 times a year. I am solving for the PMT. Woo, awesome. So I'm able in this situation to pull out $3,582.16 every single month. We have $400,000 saved, earn 7% compounded monthly. How much am I able to pull out every month for 25 years? 
then ending up with zero dollars. I'm able to plug $2,827 and 12 cents every single month. You have $300,000 saved for retirement. Your account earns 9% compounded monthly. How much will I be able to pull out every month for 15 years? I'm able to pull out $3,042 and 80 cents. Okay, it looks like the difficulty level is getting ratcheted up here a little bit. Let's see what we can do. You want to be able to withdraw $50,000 from your account each year for 30 years after you retire. You expect to retire in 25 years. Ooh, okay, this is going on here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> you expect to retire in 25 years. If your account earns 9% uh, interest compounded annually, how much will you need to deposit each year until retirement to achieve the goal? Okay, so what I'm truly after is I'm after the future value. Excuse me, no, 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 excuse me. I am actually after the present value. So what this is going to tell me is how much do I need to retire? How big of a nest egg do I want? And so what I'm doing is I, if I want to do this, if, I, if this is my goal, I'm going to take money out for 30 years. How much money do I need to have to begin with? So I need to have a present value for the, so this is my, like the retirement. This is the, this is the good living. This is where I'm taking money out, but I need to know how much money I'm going to start. The true question is, well, what, how, what kind of payments do I need to make to get to that money in the first place? Okay. So, this is again how much I'll need to retire. But I don't know that value yet. So I'm going to first do this left hand calculation. So this is my retirement. I'm going to be retired 30 years, 9% interest. I don't know what that is, but I'm getting paid $50,000 every year. 0, 1, 1. All right, so the present value, what I need to retire this tells me that I need $513,000. All right, now the true question is, is what, how much do I need to start paying now to make that happen? So I want, I need to have $513,682.70. I need to work towards that. I need to build that, build that up. So the question is what kind of payments do I need to be making? And so what's happening is I'm still at 9% 
and I'm going to have to make this in 25 years. So I'm going to have to make this in 25 years. I have to build up this $513,000, okay? Assuming that I started with $0 to begin with. So this is the true question that is being asked. All right, and I am solving for my payment. <clears throat> so that means I will have to be, I need to put away for the next 25 years, I need to put away the $6,064.67 every single year to be able to retire the way that I want to. So again, one more time, my, my breakdown is this. I need to know how much money it will take to retire. And then I need to save up for that retirement. Okay, so same type of question. I want to withdraw $25,000 a year for 20 years. All right, so, <clears throat> I'm going to get paid $25,000 every year for 25 years. Or excuse me, 20 years, I'm sorry, 20 years. Each year for 20 years after you retire, you expect to retire in 30 years. Your account earns 10%, wow, that's amazing, compounded annually. All right, so, no, future value is zero. What is the present value? Okay, so if I'm going to drain my account, I'm going to go from, uh, I don't know number of dollars down to zero dollars at $25,000 a chunk, how much do I have to have to begin with? So that implies that I will need $212,000.09. Okay, now I need to save to get to there. So my end goal, my future value, what I need in the future is this amount of money. I'm assuming that I'm starting with $0. All right, I'm going to be retiring in 30 years. So at 10% interest. So what kind of payments do I need to be making for the next 30 years to achieve that uh, retirement goal of $212,000? I'm going to have to pay $1,293.90 every single year for the next 30 years. But that, that's very doable. And if that's the case, then I'll, I'll be able to take out $25,000 every, every year to the next 20. So cost you $1,200 to get $25,000. All right, here we go. Mike wants to be able to withdraw $10,000 um, every quarter. So this is happening four times a year for 10 years. All right, so notice that it's happening every quarter for 10 years. He expects to retire in 15 years, so I'll 
worry that about that later. If Mike's account earns 8% interest compounded quarterly, how much will he need to deposit each quarter during the first 15 years? I think that's supposed to be the next. 15 years in order to accomplish his goal. All right, so, um, so this is my retirement. So I don't know, but I'm going to use all of that up in 10 years. So that means I will need Two hundred seventy-three thousand five five four and seventy-nine cents at the beginning of my retirement. So if I have that amount of money at the beginning of my retirement, I can live out my dream. Okay, now we need to save to get there. So our future value is going to be that retirement amount that is required. Okay. Assuming that I'm starting with zero dollars. All right, so how much do I need to deposit every quarter? So every quarter for, I'm going to retire in 15 years at 8% interest. $2,398 and 52 cents. That's what I'll have to make uh, every quarter. So every three months, I'm going to have to be putting that much away. That was it. The last two are kind of difficult, but you got it. You got it. Have any questions? Please ask in class. class. 